you know. Go Animate was a website where anyone could express their creativity. Users on a day to day basis were creating videos on a flash based drag and drop animation program to see what their minds could come up with. There was no Adobe Premiere involved. All there was to see was how users could use their imagination. If you go back and look at a lot of videos from guys like Chaos Toon, JH Cartoons, and Smirks, you can tell how much creativity they put into their videos. They were funny, sad, scary, videos like those made Go Animate what it was, at its peak. However, the website saw a decline somewhere around 2015 to 2016 when Go Animate decided to retire all of the Flash themes in favor of the business themes. Users were outraged, they didn't know what was going on or why this was all happening. The fan base decided it was former Go Animate CEO Alvin Hunt to blame for the Flash themes going away, but in my eyes, it wasn't his fault for the themes going away. It was the incredibly naive children that were smashing their keyboards coming up with these grounded videos. Grounded videos consist of a character whom the OPs considered to be a troublemaker getting grounded for an extensive period amount of time for doing something heinous. Or most of the time. Something so ridiculous it's enough to make you have second thoughts on what the hell you were thinking watching a video so baffling. Grounded videos are basically what the entire website is known for, that's the legacy it has. There are people that ask the question, who's to blame? Who is responsible for greenlighting all of these absurd, poorly made videos that the general public who has never seen one of them before now endlessly mock? Who put that image on the entire website? That's where we enter African Vulture. Fuck you. Criticism is harassment. You know it's also a crime, right? You're a criminal. Go fuck yourself. I'll kill you and your whole family you piece of shit. African Vulture, known by her real name as Sara Brutigam, is a 38-year-old Go animator who is well known for popularizing the grounded video trend. Most notably the Kalu gets grounded genre. She has made quite an impression with these videos, gaining over hundreds of thousands of views on her channel. Currently, the channel sits at over 12 million views with 106,000 subscribers which proves that she's made quite a living off this. Me myself, I used to watch her videos all the time and I was interested in them until I realized something. I am not fucking 9 years old anymore. When I grew up. I realized this content was garbage and I was being spoon-fed to someone who doesn't know the meaning of making something creative, even if it knocked her right upside her ass, if she even has one. She's basically one of the reasons I left the community in late 2018. It's because the content the community was churning out wasn't good. These people were just putting children's television show characters in the title and thumbnail with the and gets grounded following suit just to get a couple thousand views. You had guys like Isaac, who we'll get into more about later. Making great content but only doing under 500,000 views in favor for these losers whose balls haven't dropped yet making these grounded videos that get over millions of views. That's the legacy that African Vulture has left behind for her viewers. She's taking a platform, in which was once a website that, though was very limited for its features, had users use their minds to make great videos for the community, and anal fucked it with no condoms trapped on and gave birth to a fan base who defend her at every move. I swear to God she could commit murder and be sentenced to the electric chair for it and her fan base full of dweebs would say she was framed and deserves to be a free woman. It's nothing more than baffling. When you take a look at her content yourself, you find yourself just easily unentertained. The videos are dreadful to sit through because they're not funny. They leave you empty stomach just so you can go to a creator who knows what they're actually doing. Despite all of this, she's gained an army and will have them target anyone who says something negative about African Vulture. Which leads me to my next point. Enter Luke Animate. Luke Animate, now known as GoTube is just another Go Animator in the mindless flock of sheep. He's currently one of the head leads of Rapper Offline, which is pretty cool I guess, but that's irrelevant as of right now. To make a long story short, he made a YouTube poop out of her and she recognized it which prompted her to get her fan base to attack him. That's not even the worst part, she got her fan base to threaten him and his family.
This automatically proves a couple things, the first of them being that her skin is made of bread and the second of them being that she doesn't know what a joke is. How much of a fucking idiot do you need to be to bomb dislike someone's video because you didn't seem to find the actual point of the video? The point was, it was a joke. You've proven you can't handle shit in that community, even if it's the slightest of criticism. Enter Isaac. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. If you watch a video about Go Animate and they bring up its good side, 100% of the time Isaac's name is brought up. He's essentially Go Animate's golden boy with the way he blends his style of art into such a limited software of animation. He's basically a veteran of the game and knows his ways but that's irrelevant as of right now. The controversy I'm gonna discuss is pretty much infamous within the community. Everyone and their mamas know what happened. Isaac made a video called African Vulture Review in which he explains what he thinks Avenue can improve in her videos, and he brought up some really valid points. Such as why you shouldn't try to listen to your retarded fanbase for ideas or why you shouldn't use Go Animate logic as an excuse for a lack of writing skills. She was fine with the video at first, but years later out of nowhere, she starts complaining about how criticism is the antichrist all because she terminated Isaac's account, and in her own words was because his content was too edgy and dirty. After getting bashed on and criticized once more for it. She tries to play it off as a joke like she would do in any given situation to try and weasel out of it. Dog, I don't know if this is ever gonna get through your head, but nobody is fucking falling for your bullshit except your dumbass fans. If you ever decide to get yourself into bullshit again, you can damn sure bet that nobody is gonna fall for any lies you spew. You are only making yourself look more like a dumbass. Not only do you ruin the site's credibility and gain a massive army of little children who can't put two and two together, but you go on Twitter and tweet at 100 miles per hour and constantly say some stupid bullshit and pretend you didn't do heinous shit but in reality did. I don't care if you deleted your Instagram or Twitter page, it's still relevant even to this day. Oh. Let's mention the fact that it's been well documented that you've even gone as far as telling people you're gonna kill their families. Congratulations, you fucking Big Mac built ass bitch. How's it feel to be the female Chris Chan? Great isn't it? Not only do you scream and pout at Isaac for criticizing your content but you also threw a tantrum over a video Pyrocynical made three years prior. And that's not even the worst part. You were totally fine with that video and apologized for taking it down and now all of a sudden you act as if it never happened? Do you have to scavenge at the bottom of the barrel for the pettiest bullshit to get mad towards? This is the image you've built for the degenerates that watch your content, and when I say it's time for you to get the fuck off the platform and do something useful with your life, you can damn sure bet that's the truth. You wanna know how I got into Go Animate to begin with? It damn sure wasn't Avenue, it was two guys who inspired me to make Go Animate content. Those guys being the fan guy 123 and the Go Animate guy 67. Has two are the reason I even made Go Animate content to begin with. They've inspired me and so many other people to make this type of content and expand the possibilities. Two, you know, make something great other than just grounded this and grounded that. I know it might sound a bit hypocritical of me considering I'm the one making K. Lu content, but there's a big difference with a normal generic grounded video versus my content. There are people in this community who have walked the way so we can run said way. They inspired us to make all this great content. But you, Sara, devoted yourself into making shitty grounded videos and building up an empire of small children who will fight for you until they drop dead. Go Animate isn't even Go Animate anymore. It's now beyond. Go Animate was for the people by the people, but now it's for the businesses by the businesses. And it's all thanks to that shitty content you've produced and spoon fed for other degenerates to shit right out. You've raised a cult and it's cost us the fun everyone used to have. Why do you think users we used to love and know took their ball and went home? It's because you green lit a bunch of retards to make this content you popularized and force them to copy and paste your same style of formula that it became an epidemic. You are, without a doubt, the reason Go Animate fucking died. This community has always had potential, 
we've had the chance to expand and make something that other people who aren't familiar with GoAnimate content can watch. We could have even got them to join the community and recruit more people into a pastime hobby, but that's not the case. Everyone just wanted to make grounded videos and play follow the leader. Why do you think grounded videos get put into cringe compilations? It's because the people who produce it understand how fucking gut-wrenching watching that type of content is. At the end of the day, you can say it's legit just go animate and it doesn't matter, because nowadays it is legitimately just go animate because it doesn't matter anymore. The damage has already been done. Our legacy as a community is grounded videos. I want you to imagine this, your brother does something wrong, right? You tattle to your mother. And you both happen to get in trouble because apparently one ruins it for the other. That's how it felt for AV to endorse all these retards to follow her lead and ruin it for the Go animators who actually spent time making creative and original content. She ruined it for all of them. To sum it all up. African Vulture is a 40-year-old virgin who produces shitty Go Animate content that encourages a bunch of children to go and do the same thing. Not only that, she's revealed herself to be a two-faced self-centered lying scumbag towards everyone just because she either can't handle criticism or a joke. So, to end this commentary, I have two words for African Vulture, and they're pretty simple ones too. Fuck. You. Thank <laughs> you.